Hello, in this video we will demonstrate how to output a large amount of data from a model simulation. When you create a model, you don't need to run it multiple times to get uh, multiple results of execution. So in this demonstration we will show how to get the data out based on the probabilities of the inputs, how to use different random uh, functions to get that randomness uh, on the inputs and uh, how to output results in different methods for example as you can see here uh, CSV comma separate values or Excel just output in few seconds all the data in different uh, execution configurations uh, but also instances uh, separate instances per each execution generated from one single execution and uh, other methods so here we see the model, very simple model, including behavior and structure. You can see here we get input uh, from initial uh, final speed time, and then we measure acceleration uh, and get result. And uh, as you can see here, the initial values coming from the from the default values. Uh, we can also create an instance and provide those execute whole instance table, you know, with the initial values, and that would give us. Uh, uh, some uh, inputs, but let's do the randomness uh, for those initial values. So let's say initial speed will be in a uniform distribution, so we can right click, stereotype uh, uniform, that's predefined uh, stereotype for the uniform distribution. Every time you run, you will get the different value in those ranges from 0 to, let's say, 1, or maybe 2. And then uh, final speed, let's do the normal distribution, right click, stereotype, uh, normal, apply, and uh, let's see results, uh, uh, let's specify here 60, standard deviation, let's say 5, or maybe 2. Now, um, that will give us uh, randomness on execution, so right click, simulation run. You see those are random, not random, because they are still default values, so we need to remove that. Default values removed. Default value removed. Okay. Run. And we see the randomness available. Here, so run again. Yeah, different results. Now, for the time, let's do the different uh, type of the distribution. So we can really apply any type of distributions. To, uh, so we can use the script languages, we can even integrate MATLAB, so for the default I delete, and here I will assign script, as you can see, opaque expression, to specify in whatever language I want, let's say in JavaScript, uh, JavaScript, I will uh, copy the script to generate the randomness uh, for the value. So here you can see that I can be in full control of what would be the uh, value here for this uh, property and I don't need those predefined stereotypes so this gives us uh, much more control of that and then the acceleration duration let's see that uh, we have those uh, as a results so far so good now we'll, uh, we can still execute here and see what will happen uh, run and you see duration uh, and uh, time 10 you see you run again 9 and again uh, five right so this works uh, now let's add some uh, extra randomness and uh, let's do the duration here so for the duration we have duration constraints uh, and let's say it will take from zero to five seconds uniform distribution and also will will capture that total execution of this function here duration equals sim time this is the method to capture the time at the end Duration uh, is the property which will get assigned the uh, value. So we have this duration property and the same time is the dedicated variable. So we'll get the how long it took, like so pretty much this time. But also we can get the, and we can see how that works, run with the context. So this acceleration and duration is zero, run and we'll get the assigned results at the end. Here we have them, right? And the duration was in milliseconds, right? Because we don't have any other time properties. Now let's do this uh, alternative time here. So I drag this uh, measure acceleration function from the vehicle again. I will connect uh, to 
enter this function here and I can actually make those lines like that and also I will do the decision here so let's make decision and also based on probabilities some randomness oh actually this one goes here let's make it like this here and then a duration here it will be let's use the time property so here I can also use the variable and it will come from here so it will take pretty much this time I could graph another one but just use this one so time and let's run and actually I want that it would select this or this one you know based on the some re reason right so for example I can uh, have uh, um, just let's check that properties are linked correctly. So V2 links to V2, V1 links to V1, T3, T. Okay, correct. Now let's put the probability which uh, function will be used, decision here, and then use this one or use this one. And then here I can put the probability. So probability, let's say 60% this path and uh, probability 40% this path okay now this will be selected or this one let's run and see how it works so here we have this one and here we have results okay so it works now um, next step would be to capture those results uh, and uh, as we promised we want to run multiple times and get results so we can get those results in multiple methods right so we can get them as the instances so let's do that for for now and uh, uh, we need the configuration simulation to specify the time to specify where our, our results will be captured so let's go to the simulation configuration diagram it will be a random random test and uh, then we'll have uh, uh, target this one then we'll have results uh, package here results and we want to check like with 10 times execution and um, so a number of uh, runs 10 times and once you will run those instances will be created automatically in that result and also we can specify here expert mode uh, um, execution record time step for example this one okay run so we got 10 executions done and here we can create instance table and we can show the acceleration from this results package so here we have results immediately initial speed final speed time uh, as you can see here acceleration and then duration and you can set this number as like 100 you know like you'll get the 100 execution lines uh, as you can see uh, and you will notice later this takes the longest time right because this requires actually model update and we have the data now in the model which can be used but also as, as uh, we see it requires some some long time to get the data and um, uh, once you have the data actually it, uh, you can deal with that data here you know it is kind of uh, uh, convenient for different reasons for example you can import and synchronize the data you know uh, to the Excel file here we have this uh, uh, write to file as you can see here instance table just save it and then uh, that's it you know like we got the table out so let's go here and uh, this one is that but here we have instance table so we have data out so this data out you know uh, can be later on imported back so gives us uh, more flexibility on that uh, data management uh, so here we have all the data 
we can actually change the data and import back you know like read uh, read from a file import back and then what happens uh, what we can get from that you know like uh, let's say that i will uh, limit this number of uh, rows here just not to wait a little bit uh, less data here what what happens is that we can delete here final result and we can have uh, uh, not the random inputs, but actually inputs coming from here, from this predefined inputs of the initial speed, final speed, and uh, and time. We can read them from Excel, as you can see, like read from file, and then uh, execute this table, right? So this table you can execute, uh, run with uh, random test uh, config, you see here, and we'll get the results. So those results are actually based on that data, as you can see here. Uh, all the results are based on that data. The data was coming from this one, and uh, even you can run actually uh, like without this config. You know, you can run like uh, run with the. You see, results are here. Okay, so now uh, we know how to pre uh, run based on predefined data. Now, how to get the data out, for example, as a. Excel directly, you know, from the configurations and get it fast. So that's another method. Here we can create a CSV export data, data export, and we'll have this uh, acceleration test. We'll have data export uh, CSV. We'll have uh, right at the end and what values so let's say all the values close use it as a part of this uh, config as you see always a dragging on the top of the config and then i will remove the results location in order not to create the instances anymore the reason for that is i want to get the data out quickly without uh, you know um, waiting for those instances to be created which is sometimes useful but not uh, necessary in all type cases so now let's run it as you can see here now i am executing thousand times and that's like same amount of uh, like 10 times faster compared to what was previously Okay, done. So we have this one and you see here we have a generated Excel file. Here is that Excel file with the thousand uh, execution instances. So much different uh, experience, right? The same result as the here Excel file, but uh, much faster. And also you can have those uh, histograms generated with the statistical analysis. Uh, acceleration and duration for any result uh, for any result property you need separate uh, histogram config it's based on this acceleration test and then here we have uh, value for this one acceleration and then dynamic uh, and uh, keep open after termination does dynamic uh, would update during the execution here you can also record plot data as csv and you can also produce file acceleration csv right and here we have duration we'll do keep open and then duration here duration and then uh, dynamic and we can export as png for example or html duration csv not sure about this one was that dynamic or not dynamic yes and uh, let's put those yeah they are here let's run and maybe dynamic let's remove it this oh, let's delete dynamic in any case we'll see that result so we have results uh, as you can see here it doesn't slow down so much you know compared to what pre was previous situation right uh, Behavior runs quite fast. We already 500 uh, of executions, and we get the statistical data on the duration and acceleration.
Okay, done. Now we can uh, see what are the results in, in the files. You see here we have, uh, again, data export. Also, we have duration data here, just the values, no inputs, as you can see here. So that's why the CSV export is useful, because we get also inputs and acceleration. Also here we have just a values, uh, but uh, no inputs. Uh, we could actually choose export PNG, then we'll get those PNG values done. So that was the overview of different methods of the data export based on the random configurations and also predefined configurations. If we get those configurations from the instances as the table, for example, like we can use the execution target as an instance table, right? So if we'll have that kind of setup, and we'll open the table here and we'll delete some values. Oh. We'll delete some values like here. Then when we run this, uh, and we don't need to run it many times now, we just run once, right? Uh, but then we don't need the histograms, we don't need this histogram we don't need other things uh, we just run once and we'll get the results and in this table so we know now know how to run with the randomness and also how to also how to run with predefined results multiple times with uh, with the just single execution so you can see here results